you know, at least for me, I have voices and distractions and things going on where I'm like, <laughs> Wait a minute, let's go back to you have voices and you're pointing to your head. Hang on here. Uh Oh, are you yeah. going to give me therapy right now? I don't know. I might just have to yeah, refer out to somebody on this one. Welcome to We Do Whatever It Takes, a marriage podcast with a magician and an almost therapist, where you get tips and tricks for creating a great marriage. Welcome to our first ever podcast. I am Danny Ray. And I'm Kimberly. Well, uh, so what are you doing here, babe? What's happening? Uh, you're making me do a podcast. I'm making you do a <laughs> podcast. Okay, really? that's not true. That's no, how you want to play this? <laughs> no, right. Dream come true for both of us. Yeah. Uh, it really is. There has been a long journey to get to this moment, and we thought we'd give you a little history of what that looks like, of how we started out. We have been married for, let's see if you can remember. No, you got it wrong earlier. 27. No! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 26 years. 26 I'm, years. Yes. 26 this, years. 26. And so right around our 25th anniversary, we put out a book called No, I Can't, I can't make, make Your make Wife your wife <laughs> Disappear. You want to finish it up? Yeah. I, no, I Can't Make Your Wife Disappear. Yes. Yes is the title of the book. Yeah, so it's a magician's guide. That's me. Um, to a magical marriage. And then you are? Uh, working on being a therapist, but I am not... I repeat, is that not a, a licensed therapist. Is that a almost therapist? Almost therapist will we'll do. Yeah. All right. So, so that's a little bit of who we are, but how we got to this point is a journey from a long time ago. So when we were in a school in college, that's where we met freshman year. You know, I just fell in love with her right away. It took her a little longer to figure no, it out. No, 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 no. You forgot my name right away. Well, Don't that's even. a different story. I did forget <laughs> your name, but it was because I was so in awe of you. Oh, like please. your beauty just no, struck me. No, <laughs> So, but we, we ended up graduating one weekend, mm -hmm. getting married the next weekend. And two weeks after that, we moved to Colorado. I was pursuing my graduate degree, um, going to seminary and... We started off with like, if you could start off with a bang of like celebration here, celebration there, move here. I mean, it was a little crazy, right? Oh my gosh. Very crazy. Yes. Moving vans, finding stuff. I mean, the, the stuff they move today and the way they do it, whole different world. It was a hope and prayer that our stuff would show up. Well, yeah, it took way longer than it was supposed to, but I hear that still happens even today. So probably true. Probably true. So so we get there and we're trying to find an apartment, trying to find jobs. It's craziness, but it was an adventure. And that first year, we learned everything we thought we knew just kind of fell apart at the seams with our marriage. It was just like we were fighting. We were um, not seeing eye to eye. We were going to bed angry. And we ended up going to counseling that first year. Mm -hmm. And what would you say, babe? Would you say that was a game changer? Uh, definite game changer. Now, I had always said I would only choose somebody to marry who would go to counseling, somebody who would be willing to do that. When it came, I thought that was a joke. <laughs> yeah, I know. When it came down to it, you were definitely hesitant. In all honesty, right? So yeah, no, fair? I definitely, I never gone. I never wanted to go. I thought that was <laughs> weak um, to go to counseling. Ooh. Yeah, that that's how I felt about it at the time. As and you know, as I could, I could figure this out. We could fix this, and we weren't fixing it, and no. things weren't going great. No, so we went to see a counselor. And how it was helped. that? It helped? <laughs> wow. Imagine I know. That. Lo and behold, it helped. Okay. But so I walked out of that counseling session. It wasn't the first one. It was probably four or five times in. But as we started to get results and started to communicate better is I remember saying, and possibly I've written journals for, I don't know, maybe 30 years. And I remember either writing it down, but um, thinking it and saying it to you that we will do whatever it takes to create a great marriage. Mm -hmm. And so when we look at this podcast, we do whatever it takes. It really came out of that first year of marriage. If things are kind of falling apart, we can't fix it. We're going to bed angry. We're struggling. And we made a decision to do whatever it takes. If it means going to counseling, if it means reading books, if it means going to marriage seminars, 
Yeah, I mean, and we did it all. We were yeah, kind of, yeah. we started reading books, we started going to seminars, we started going to conferences. And now for the last 20 years, I've been on the road and I've heard so many different great marriage counselors and um, speakers speak into my own life. And that's really what this show is all about, is we want to be able to give tips and tricks, um, no pun intended. Um, for... I don't know. You do a lot of magic tricks. So I think, uh, yeah, magic tricks is... Uh probably intended as <laughs> yeah no. I don't know how to say that uh you you say it however you want to say it, it it's your show baby you can do whatever oh, you want wow wow so so yeah so we we want to help any marriage that's out there whether you are just struggling or whether you're you know what we have a great marriage and we just need an extra tip or trick for the day and we want to be able to pour into you to encourage you we have a lot of ideas on this. So we're going to be speaking on different things from communication to overcoming difficult times to thriving in your marriage. And now we'll have a note from our sponsors. We don't have any sponsors. Oh, good, because I was wondering what you were talking about. It's just us. Buy our book. <laughs> <laughs> it's on Amazon. Okay. That was a note from our sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The, in all uh, honesty, though, the uh, Audible version of yes. the book just came out this week. So that's pretty, yeah, pretty so exciting. Super thankful for that. And yeah, to, to be honest, I haven't even listened to it yet. <laughs> I, I've listened to the sample and had you listen to it, but I think I'm going to have to buy my own Audible book um, because I have the the audio version, but it's like an MP3 and I, I just want to listen to it on what I know, which is Audible. Okay, so what is uh, one communication? Like if they were to walk away with something today, this this episode is just a teaser. So <laughs> one teaser. <laughs> okay. But if they were to walk away, they want some content. What's like one great communication skill that you feel like is really effective for everyone? I think how and where we communicate. Uh, we've mm -hmm. learned that that's crucial so when i try and talk to you when you're on your phone and don't get a response i wonder why yeah clearly not a good time to try and and talk to you so sometimes we'll ask hey i need to talk to you when's a good time do you have a few minutes or really um trying to get the person's attention and we talk about that being eyeball time right looking yeah, it's really <laughs> like <laughs> listening to each other and that requires like looking at each other putting other things aside is i think sometimes we end up doing this side-by-side -side communication where we're both doing other things and then we wonder why they didn't hear us and yeah things get thankfully lost. we have it all all perfect and we've never had any <laughs> communication problems uh-huh <laughs> uh, no we uh, just so you know we're gonna share like we we're still working on this every day and but sure. it's our mantra it's like we do whatever it takes isn't just an idea for a podcast it's really how we've tried to live and but with, with this idea of listening mm -hmm. is it really takes everything in us to you know at least for me i have voices and distractions and things going on where i'm like <laughs> Wait, but let's uh, go back to you have voices and you're pointing <laughs> to your head hang on here uh oh are you yeah. gonna give me therapy right uh, now i don't know i might just have to yeah refer out to somebody on this one i'm gonna sign up for your your therapy uh -huh. uh, I mean, like, I, I have a lot of stuff going yes, on in my you head do. Of, you do. of work and ideas and thoughts and a um, new book idea. You know, like, all those things are kind of constantly, like, circling around. And then you ask a, a question. I'm like, okay, that's going into the circle instead of you saying, hey, 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 let me, let me see <laughs> those eyeballs. <laughs> look up here. Look up yeah. here. And when, when I give you that attention, which you – love just sure. in terms of communication sure. you love like seeing my eyes and and we could really talk about something that's important to you or yeah. even if it's a simple question most you know, of the time it's a simple question but i just need to make sure i've got your eyeballs got your attention so that i know that you're hearing me um and you know a little tip too that helps with children when uh, when you want to ask them to do something and they're busy listening to their you know ipods or whatever Oh, I guess that's really old school. What do they listen to now? <laughs> they all have iPhones or Android. That's or what something. I meant. Yeah. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, That's what I meant. An iPod. <laughs> Are you going to throw out like the, um, I'm trying to, what do we have, MP3. like the Palm 5 or something? Yeah. <laughs> Some uh, really old school tech. <laughs> yeah, beautiful okay. tech. The tech world changes every day. We digress. We digress. So 
let's let's leave them with a teaser for what's to come. Ooh. So this episode, we're just trying to give you a little bit of who we are, what we do, anything you want to add on who you are about our kids, about anything, and then I'll give a teaser of what's coming. Uh. I'm married to you. So, yeah, that's I mean, crazy. That's, yeah, that's crazy. What were we you have, thinking? Uh, <laughs> we have three children, and uh, two have left the nest, and one is still finishing school. Um, Seniors. Senior. <laughs> and so here we are. Yeah, so th- those are our three kids. You were about to start at a counseling center, and I know you're super excited about that. I'm you have- very excited, but I yeah. am not, let me repeat, <laughs> not a therapist at this time. That is the goal, and I will be working towards that, but I am not licensed, so I will keep repeating that <laughs> over and over. Over. But let me say this, for the last 25 years as a pastor, we've done a lot of marriage counseling. A we've lot. had a lot of people come in and ask questions or struggling through things, and so We've been able to just pour into a lot of people and seen great success with that, and we want to share some of those. And we've seen where people haven't, for whatever reason, been able to figure it out, and they've had to go through a divorce, and we've been a part of those situations as well. And whatever your situation is, whatever, wherever your relationship is, we want to be there to help get you one step further, one step closer to each mm-hmm. other. And we believe that that happens as you have God at the center of your relationship. We for believe sure. that that happens as you're choosing one another daily. And we realize some spouses are all in and then the other spouse is all out. You know, they don't even care about the relationship. And we'll address some of that. But for the most part, a lot of what we're going to deal with is when you are trying to work things through together, how do you do that together? Yeah. So a teaser of what's to come, Mm. a teaser of what's to come. So episode two, we want to look at how do we focus on great communication? And so... Mm. This word focus is going to be really key because when we focus on what matters in terms of our relationship, we're going to see great results. It's easy for us to get out of focus Mm, um, and it's easy to let things distract us. So for example, if I was to take a quarter right now and like hold that up to my eyeball, it could seem humongous, Mm. even though it's like super small in comparison to how large the world is around. But a lot of times we'll end up focusing on one thing in our spouse. Yeah, that tiny little thing thing yeah yeah yeah. and that That feels so big and it feels big yeah but we want to show you some perspective in episode two and talk about the things that we focus on matter and what are the right things to focus Mm. on sounds great well you'll be there (laughs) i'll be there